Duchenne muscular dystrophy, or DMD, is a severe genetic disorder that gradually weakens muscles over time. It primarily affects boys and is caused by a mutation in the dystrophin gene, which is essentially for maintaining muscle strength and function. Without dystrophin, muscles become fragile and progressively deteriorate. But what exactly happens to the body when someone has DMD? Let's explore its progression, symptoms, and management strategies. Understanding the genetics of DMD. DMD is an X-linked recessive disorder, meaning it is inherited through the X chromosome. Since males have only one X chromosome, a single defective dystrophin gene leads to the disease. Females, on the other hand, typically carry the gene but do not develop severe symptoms due to the presence of a second healthy X chromosome. Dystrophin is a crucial protein that helps stabilize muscle cells during contraction. Without it, muscle fibers experience damage and degenerate over time, leading to progressive symptoms seen in DMD. Early Signs and Symptoms The first sign of DMD usually appears between the ages of 2 and 5. Parents may notice that their child has difficulty with motor skills, such as running, jumping, or climbing stairs. Other early signs include frequent falls, difficulty standing up from a seated or lying position, and large calf muscles, delayed speech or cognitive development. One hallmark of DMD is the grower sign. When a child has to use their hands to walk up their body to stand due to weak leg muscles, how do DMD progress this over time? DMD follows a predictable progression, with symptoms worsening as muscle tissue deteriorates. Here is how it typically unfolds. Childhood, ages 2 to 10. During early childhood, muscle weakness is almost noticeable in the legs and pelvic area. Walking becomes increasingly difficult, and children often develop a distinctive waddling gait. As they grow, climbing stairs and getting up from the floor becomes more challenging. Preteen and early teenage years, ages 10 to 15. By this stage, most individuals with DMD lose their ability to walk independently and require a wheelchair. Weakness spreads to the upper body, affecting arm movement and fine motor skills. Scoliosis, curved spine, may develop due to weakened back muscles. Respiratory muscles also begin to weaken, leading to breathing difficulties. Some individuals may require non-invasive ventilation, particularly while sleeping. Late teenage years and adulthood, ages 15 and beyond. As the disease advances, muscle deterioration continues affecting the heart and lungs. Cardiomyopathy, heart muscle weakness, becomes a major concern, increasing the risk of heart failure. Severe respiratory issues may require full-time ventilatory support. Due to these complications, life expectancy for individuals with DMD is significantly reduced, but advancements in medical care have improved survival into the 30s and beyond. How DMD affects different systems in the body Musculoskeletal system Progressive muscle weakness Joint contractures, that is stiffness Scoliosis Respiratory system Weakness in diaphragm and intercostal muscles Risk of respiratory infections Need for ventilatory support Cardiovascular system, cardiomyopathy and irregular heart rhythms, risk of heart failure, cognitive and nervous system. Some individuals experience learning difficulties or behavioral challenges, increased risk of attention deficit disorders, managing Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Although there is no cure for DMD, treatments aim to slow its progression and improve quality of life. Management strategies include medications, Prednisone, Deflis Accord, helps slow muscle degeneration and improves strength. Heart medications, ACE inhibitors and beta blockers have helped manage cardiomyopathy. Physical therapies and assistive devices, stretching and exercise to prevent joint contractures, bracing to support weak muscles, wheelchairs and mobility aids for independence. Respiratory support, non-invasive ventilation, BiPAP, to assist breathing at night. Cough assist device to help clear mucus and prevent infections. Surgical interventions. Spinal fusion surgery for severe scoliosis. Gastronomy tubes for nutritional support if swallowing becomes difficult. Recent advances in DMT treatment. Research into Duchenne muscular dystrophy has led to promising new treatments, including gene therapy. 
Scientists are working on delivering functional copies of the dystrophin gene to affected individuals, with early trials showing potential benefits. Exxon skipping drugs. Medications like Edeplerson, Exendis 51, helps the body produce a partially functional form of dystrophin. Stem cell therapy. Investigating the use of stem cells to repair or replace damaged muscle tissues. CRISPR gene editing. A revolutionary approach aiming to correct the genetic mutation at the DNA level. While these treatments are still being refined, they offer hope for slowing disease progression and extending lifespan. The emotional and social impact of DMD. Living with Duchenne muscular dystrophy presents not just physical challenges but also emotional and social ones. Families often face the psychological burden of a progressive disease, and individuals with DMD may experience anxiety, depression, or feelings of isolation. However, support groups, counseling, and advocacy organizations provide vital resources. Organizations like the Muscular Dystrophy Association (MDA) and Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy (PPMD) work to raise awareness, fund research, and support affected families. Looking towards the future. While the Shane muscular dystrophy remains a life-altering condition, advancements in medical care and research are continuously improving outcomes. Early diagnosis, proper management, and innovative therapies are helping individuals with DMT live longer and with better quality of life. By continuing to support research and raising awareness, we can work towards bettering treatments and ultimately a cure for the Shane muscular dystrophy. Until then, those affected by DMD can find strength in medical advancements, supportive communities, and the resilience of the human.